So, the lightweight division then. Who's going to be champion by the end of 2024? Get your comments in below, play along, and let's compare choices. No one in the top five is no, scheduled no. yet. <laughs> We've got Mateus Gamrot versus Rafael de Sanyos is confirmed. So that's a good fight. It's an opportunity for Gamrot to potentially beat a legend. Yeah. RDA wins. That puts him back in there. As you can see, RDA's in at number 11. So yeah. it'd be a big jump for him. Yeah. Um, it'd be knocking on the door again, but maybe not potentially get a title fight in the yeah, year. Yeah, no. And this is the thing as well, because... Everyone's been going on about that um, Islam should be fighting Charles. But then I think Islam says he doesn't want to fight <coughs> Charles. He wants to fight Justin Gaethje. Mm. Um, for me, it's got to be Oliveira. But you just don't know. But then I mentioned to the boys a second ago, Armin Shurukin's one fight away from fighting Islam again. He is. He's had a cra cracking year here. He's had a very, very um, good year. All right, he beat somebody he wasn't originally paired up with yeah um but the win against Dariush yeah, was spectacular come on now. exactly Dariush is no slouch like he's very very well rounded he, he's he's done uh, he's done leaps and bounds in, in the division before um yeah it, it, it all depends who Islam fights because if Islam fights Charles I, get, I think that's going to be a closer fight than is uh, than Islam versus Gaethje because, mm. um but yeah it, it, for me, I think if, if Armin Saruk can, can get past either, maybe if he fights Dustin Poirier or if he does fight Justin Gaethje, woo! Yeah, then he's next. He's there. Yeah. He's there for the taking. That's Breezy. a great fight as well. What do you reckon? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention someone that I don't think is going to be champion, but it's going to cause upsets for some of the people currently right. in the top five. Uh, and that's Ben Watson, doesn't he? Oh, mate. Um, okay. Do you think he's going to get a top five fight? I think, I think by the end of the year, he could potentially be top five. Ooh, nice. Um, and that's going to upset some people that are currently sitting higher than him. Mm. Um, I think I don't. I don't see Islam going anywhere. Mm. I think mm. if anything, he's going to be potentially a two division champ. Mm. Perhaps um, if that's what he wants to do. Um, I don't see him sticking around fighting these people at the top because he's, he's just better than them. Are they, are After seeing yeah. the way that Olivier is dispatched of, of Poirier Gaethje and we yeah. were all a bit like oh well, we don't know and then he actually stood up quite strong and they got knocked down a couple of times and stuff mm. but mm. Um, I don't see any of them beating Islam if they can't beat Charles yeah um, right. that's true but stars stars do make fights you never yeah. know what, no I, I, I think I think you're onto something with the Benoit Sandini pick and mm. purely because I mean there's a bit, little bit of politics involved in it as well the UFC have announced where they're going to be returning yeah. to next year they're going to be returning to France if you want to put on a big fight that perhaps isn't Surreal Gun in France, you're going to need to yeah. do a big one with Benoit Saint Denis as he's your next person coming through. Yeah. I'd like to see him fight for Zayev. Yeah. Um, and, and from that, depending Oof. on where Dustin Poirier and Gaethje are at the end yeah. of the year, I yeah. think that's the one you make in France if he yeah. beats them. Okay. Yeah, that's true. All yeah, because I, I don't know what the recovery time still for Zayev is, but potentially it could time in, in time wise that could actually marry yeah. up quite well and there's a few people with that top top five who, who have been around a while like, yeah, I don't no, see yeah, Chandler yeah. I don't see Chandler yeah. fighting for the belt again Dustin Poirier he's good enough but I don't see it but this, this is the thing for me like mm. Dustin Poirier like obviously like you said he's done a lot for the sport he's done a mm. lot for this lightweight division and he's coming out saying he only wants to beat these big fights Calm down, mate. You got knocked out by Justin Gaethje, right? <laughs> you can't be calling out for big fights and these top tier fights when you've you've just got knocked out. Like Justin Gaethje is the one that could be doing. It should be doing that. If you know what I mean. I get mm. that Dustin Poirier wants these bigger fights. I think the, the only biggest fight then in that name with that top five that he could potentially fight is Armand Sarukin. Uh, I don't mm. think anyone else in and around there that he could be fighting. But again, let, let's not forget. We've just mentioned Michael Chandler. Like, is Conor McGregor really going to come back? Let's, we, we can't go, like, stop this lightweight division without not mentioning Conor McGregor. So if he goes in there and, and fights uh, Chandler, which is meant to be fighting Chandler, and beats Chandler, could he be fighting for the belt? Mm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. and, and, and let's not forget about Joey Alves as well. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's drop him in there. No, He's going to make more, more moves in the <laughs> lightweight division. <coughs> no, but yeah, um, let's get back to that Conor McGregor. Uh, Conor McGregor um, if he goes in there and beats Chandler, if that fight was to be made, does he fight one more time before he fights for the belt, or can his stardom and his uh, pay per view buys get him to a? Surely they give him the the Gaethje BMF belt, uh, like yeah, because that that one like that, that one sells more than the Chandler yeah. one. If anything, yeah. I mean that's that would be his ticket to 
a, a, a legit lightweight belt anyway. I, I think that's the fight that will get into the belt. But do you think yeah. Islam and Charles Oliveira, I think them two should fight next. Stylistically, I think... I know we saw Islam dispose of Oliveira in the way he did. Yeah. But I just think Oliveira has been on such a, such a high. I think he deserves it a little bit more than Gaethje because... Yeah. <clears throat> I could get hated for this, but we kind of seen Justin Gaethje versus Islam because we saw yeah. what Khabib done to Gaethje. Islam's better than Khabib. But the thing that worries me with Islam just a little bit is Islam likes to stay on his feet more than Khabib ever did. Yeah. And he's better, but he's yeah. better on the feet than Khabib. Yeah. But if he's going to stay on his feet longer than Khabib ever did against someone like Justin Gaethje, this is the sport of mixed martial arts and anything can happen. True. But I think if Islam takes it to the mat and does what Khabib done, I think it's an early night for Gaethje. So I think I think you're spot on there. I think Gaethje versus um, Connor, that fight should happen, and that that if Connor wins that, then he's definitely going to be there for the belt. Are we saying for three hundred? Yeah, I, I think three hundred Gaethje versus Connor. He's got three hundred. I, I think he's got sense. To. And I they've got they've to. given that date now, haven't they? April thirteenth. Yeah, 13th. April, yeah. yeah no, I, th I think it's got to happen. I, I still think Chan and Connor is still a good fight. Don't get me wrong, but if Connor realistically wants to come back and actually have these big fights and may, maybe obviously be a, a champion again Gaethje's the the one to go to go for that would really upset Michael Chandler wouldn't it it would yeah you know but then, um, but then you get Chandler versus um, Sirikin maybe yeah true and that's a great fight as well so yeah. okay. anyway like I've, I've spoken enough no I like that um, I, think, I think you've been pretty solid with this um, who do you reckon is going to be champion by the end of the year personally I think Islam Makhachev is going to fight twice um, usually he fights at the front end of the year and then he'll fight around October time yeah. and then that's it so if you're gonna take the belt off of him it's got to be surely around October time maybe mm. um, and we, we, we still don't really know what's next for him it could be Gaethje <laughs> he's called out Gaethje will it be Al Oliveira mm. for me I think they'll do the Oliveira rematch it won't be at UFC 300 I think he beats Oliveira again yeah. and then later down in the year he could get his crack at becoming a two division champion. Yeah, that's in which yeah. case I think that Islam will still be holding the lightweight belt at the end of the year. I I would up that and say I think he'll be holding two belts at the end of the year. Ooh. No, I'm agreeing with you, yeah. but he's still going to be holding <laughs> the, uh, the lightweight belt. <laughs> so you, you're going Islam to be lightweight as well. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna um, have that a three out of three. Okay, three. I'm sticking with Islam to be champion by the end of 2024. Let's see who size one for is then. He's definitely not gone Islam. Can we get Connect definitely Four? Can we get Connect Four here? He won't go Islam, guaranteed. I know this man too much. Charles, Charles Oliveira. Oliveira. <laughs> see, I told you. I know. I know You've this, this as well. <laughs> if, anyway, if Charles, Charles beats Oliveira, him, though, if Charles beats him early on in the year, are we not going to get a trilogy at the end? Exactly. Exactly that. As I, it's, it's like the Alexander Volkanovsky scenario. Even though I don't think that Islam will lose, mm. but. It is, if, if people want to sort of go for a safe sort of bet to be champion by the end of the year, you got Islam because he's going to get a rematch. But I don't, I don't see him losing to Oliveira. If, if Charles does win, it would be, it would be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. thoroughly no, enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. But I just yeah. don't see it. Happening. Yeah, I don't see it either. All right, okay. Yours, there you go. There's our there. thoughts and opinions. Get yours in the comment section below. Hit a like on the video, and we'll see you in the next one as we're going to be talking about the welterweight division.